They say never film with animals. Because anything could go. <laughs> do, you, do you like that? Morning guys, what's happening? What's going on? How are you? Hope you're having a great day. Today is a beautiful day in Nara, Nara Park. Ah, oh, what a stunning place this is. Nara Park is filled with over 1,200 sacred deer. And today I'm gonna to be going and meeting some of them. There's little vendors around where you can buy a, like a little nice little paper wrapped deck. Hang on, I'll show you. One of these nice little paper wrapped deck of rusks for feeding to the, the deer. All right, folks. How are you? All right, guys. Morning. Sleep well? Oh. Yep. Waking up. Got to take a leak. Want to make friends? Or do you just want to get fed? You just want to get fed, don't you? How's that little rust going down? Nice? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I don't think I've got quite enough macro on the lens. <laughs> do this bowing thing where you can they bow to you I don't know whether that's we did a bit of reading and some people say it's because they've learnt it other people say it's because they're sacred I don't know it's just a bit of fun oh, man look at these trees Japan is so pretty look at these trees they're just beautiful the way they're catching the light the tiny little leaves on them the Japanese do trees better than I've ever seen anybody do trees before Not just here, this place is famous for. This is Kin Kisa Kintagu Sakaisha. It's everything that your mind's eye thinks of Japan. Like these orange structures, the, le the eaves in the roofs, beautiful trees, long corridors, just fantastic. It's like the picture of Japan. Excuse my ignorance before, it's Kasuga Taisha up here. Kasuga Taisha. Apologies to anybody who may be watching that's offended by that. I completely forgot. I went and read the sign, tried to memorise it, turned the camera on, then forgot. Stupid me. Kasuga Taisha. What a fantastic place. Still a fully functioning shrine. Over 2,000 rituals are conducted here every day, from the morning through to the night. But it all kicked off in 768. Man, that's a long time ago. So, after going up to that shrine, it's not that far, this pathway, this walkway was not that busy. I only spent 20 minutes, half an hour up there, and it has really got busy. So, it's now 20 past 10. If you want to get here before the crowds, get here before 10 o'clock, because there are busloads of people turning up. I think this is quite a popular site to visit. Right, I think it's time for a few more deer now, don't you? Come say hello. You're welcome. I've got a little bit more hiding behind the camera. Just arrived at the Buddhist temple in the southeasternmost corner of Nara Park. Not religious, but 
<clears throat> Buddhism is the, probably the closest to the thing that kind of I get and I'm like, yeah, you guys know, what, know what's up. This temple looks so nice. I'm ignorant to what all of the symbols and stuff mean, but just the architecture and the feeling of the place is really good. Sort of place that you can just be like, yeah, nice. I'm aiming for another temple. There I am. That's what I'm aiming for. This is the daddy. There he is. Well, that didn't go very well to plan. It's cordoned off, shut off. Looks like they're doing some maintenance to it. Looks quite impressive though, a bit gutting. Would have been wicked to see it up close. Let's head this way. Heading this way was a good idea. Looks like the big daddy isn't shut off after all. I don't think you can see an awful lot, but you can walk past it whilst he's having his facelift or his eyebrows plucked or whatever it is he's having done. Apparently in there, the biggest structure of Buddha in the world. That whole hall, I couldn't find the word then, that whole hall is built to cover it. Massive, the whole thing it's filled and Apparently, there's a window in the front of it that's opened twice a day so that people from outside can see his face. So the little but the, the big Buddha is looking out and everyone can be like, all right Buddha, how's it going? Also, good little thing about Nara, there's free Wi-Fi in the park. As long as you're near one of the hotspots, which they seem pretty plentiful in all the major places, free Wi-Fi. It's a really good thing about Japan that I've discovered that Wi-Fi seems to be basically looked at the same way as air, that everybody should have it. And that's a damn good thing. So if you're coming to see the deer in Nara, you've got a decision to make. Most of the deer are down in the entrance near the town where most people come in and don't really venture an awful lot further off because the deer obviously come down there because they're gonna get fed. So there's loads of deer, but there's also loads of people. So if you just wanna see deer, come there that's where the most of them are but if you want to not have your time kind of shared or spoiled by lots and lots of tourists and lots of other people you need to venture a little bit further into the park not talking a deer hello mate you right nice to meet you there you go just deer everywhere but you can see you're not going to go short of deer in this kind of area but there's lots of other people doing a very similar kind of thing. Just to make the point, there's deer, there's deer, there's deer, there's deer, and then there's the road. Ah, oh, you thinking I was feeding you? I'm just saying hello, mate, sorry. <laughs> They're very tame, very tame indeed. But like I said, there's a lot of people around to share them with. These are the sorts of guys that you get the rusks from. They're 150 yen for a little packet. And little tip, don't give the deer the whole rusk at once because they'll obviously just take it all. If you break it into little bits, then you get a lot more time and they stay interested for a lot longer. I just found out that Nara was the old Japanese capital. I can kind of see why it would be. It's a very nice place indeed. Anyway, it's about midday now, so my stomach is hungry. I haven't been fed loads of biscuits like these deer so I'm gonna go and grab myself some food catch you guys later